birch, black birch. Just about finished. White pine, natural work on it. Working on some uh, pine, more pine over here. Cooks I'm working on the woods like cast iron, even though it's only two weeks old. Man, it's not fun, but uh, working on it, letting it dry. When I take it out more, maybe we'll see. <coughs> Burnish this a little bit, a little stone. Normally, I just use, uh, you know, I do 150, two different grits or styles, and then a, uh, <clears throat> and and then a um, 400 and 1,000. I don't always burnish, but burnish will lay down the fibers, make it a little more shiny. Um, this one I might, and uh, oh, I am doing it. Then it's this is not perfect. There's a couple of marks in there, but uh, it's good enough. Another six to eight years, then it'll naturally come out nice, you know. But uh, I don't want to hate what I'm doing, you know. But uh, so I had a bunch of small pine if you saw one of my videos where I was cutting wood in the Adirondacks and we cut some maple down that's what this that's where this is from here it's cooks that I'm working on but uh, it was about two weeks before I started working on this and then in order to get that tree to so we can maneuver around it was small little white pine trees so I, I must have made ten so far, 10 spoons out of white pine. Rather than throw it away, I'll use it because it's very easy to carve and screen. Um, one thing you have to watch out when you're doing pine, you know, it's not that strong. So it, it when it dries, it's it's pretty good, it's pretty strong. But um, 
when you're when you're working the this part of the spoon here don't make that too thin before you start messing with this okay because what will happen is this may bend left or right or up and down or it may break so just be aware of that uh, if it bends a little bit and you think oh it's no good hold on to it a little bit because it dries out and it's uh it's um it's still pretty good but just be aware of that. Actually, when you do any spoon, but especially the fine, when it's green, it's kind of, I don't know, flexible or weak or, or whatever you want to call it. But once it dries, it's uh, it's pretty good. Now, the, these this one dried two days, um, the wood, after I roughed it out. Normally, I do three days if it's birch or anything like that, they go three days. But uh, before I finish it, so in a pine, when it's green, finish is very rough on the inside. You have to wait till it dries and then you, you work at it. But uh, there's a little thing here. It's kind of, I don't mess it up too much. And it seems like every time you look at a spoon, you find a spot and you want to work it out, you know. But uh, so what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to dip this in linseed oil. I'll show you in a minute. So. Basically, utilize what you have. If you're in the woods and you find some white pine and you need something to eat, especially green pine, you can make something real nice with your knife. Um, if you have a small gouge, I have it upstairs, but uh, just work that out pretty good. Or you can just use uh, anything really to just uh, check Felix Imler out with your Swiss Army knife. He, he, scrapes it out a little bit, starts it with his Swiss Army knife. And I seen one guy on there, I don't know if it was Swede Woods and one of those guys, just like you're, you're, you're starting a fire um, with your bow and drill, he actually put a, put the drill in here and worked it and sanded that out and he made himself a nice little spoon. So these are things you can do, but pine you can work with pretty uh, easy. And if you're just starting out, it's really great to work with because you'll you'll make something that's not too hard. If you get something that's really seasoned, and most of my wood is seasoned, but now it's I'm going to the wood lot, so I'm getting it. But uh, birch can be uh, birch can be a bitch sometimes. Uh, spoon's not too bad. Cooks is real tough, and, and that hard maple those those are tough, tough on the tools, but. Um, just emphasizing, you know, different things, you know. But uh, even the cooks, if you get like a hemlock or a hemlock's pain in the neck to work with, uh, to split the wood when it's dry in season. But you get some pine, you can make a cook so pretty easy. Half the time you wouldn't, one of these things. But uh, don't be afraid to do it, because, you know, that's how I do it. I just said, oh, let me give it a shot. I saw someone, I think some guy named John from Falcon Even or something at a local bushcraft event a couple of years ago, two, three years ago. You know, use a regular hatchet and knife and get most of it done. So this is all right, so I'm gonna oil this up right now. And <clears throat> um, yeah, be careful with the tools and knife. And if you have to force things like this, you're gonna get cut, something's gonna happen, so. But you see, I look at this, drives me crazy because see something make it better but uh, get the main idea it's just a, a basic functional spoon I don't sell my spoons use them make them for people give them to people we have an event or something you know um, not yet anyways but uh, working on another six to eight years I'll be a spoon maker but uh, my old workman's cap on here, but uh, this is nice. I'm gonna oil this up now. So, this is uh, raw linseed oil, just dip it in there a little bit, move it around. Oil 
this up a little bit and I'll put this down. Let's see here. And this pine, I kind of like doing this part. Drives me crazy every time you look at it, you want to work on a spoon again. You could, that's right, anytime you could. You know, sometimes the grain will raise up. But uh, yeah, but this will uh, just rub it in and uh, it's fine. It's food safe and everything. So, a little roughness there, I'll have to touch up after. But uh, yeah. When it's all done, it's nice, you know. Functional. If I screw up spoons, usually they're for myself. But uh, I have a lot of my spoons flowing around here. I have a box made for me. Keep some of the stuff in. But, uh, yeah, be all right. I'll let this, with the, with the linseed oil when it soaks in, um, sometimes I'll put more on, say a couple hours after, because it soaks in, depends on the wood. Um, I'm going to touch this up a little bit, but that, that's fine. But um, let it dry for at least 24 hours, let, you know, polymerize and go in there. And then, uh, depending on the situation, sometimes I'll put a, like a, uh, beeswax paste, which is mineral oil and beeswax, um, have like three different kinds over there. Sometimes I'll put that on. It's not necessary, but uh, you could, but the linseed oil is fine. But, uh, yes, I feel a little roughness right, right over here, a little something. I'll touch that up after, not now with this. But see, even just rubbing this like this, this stuff is, uh, it's really going in. You get a little bit of grain, you know, like the black birch doesn't have a lot of um, character to the grain. Pine, it depends. Um, this is young pine, small branches or small trees or whatever. So that varies what you use. But, uh, yeah. It'll be fine, you know. This is a good little, could probably use it for soup or eating, dual purpose, whatever. You know, got the green that way. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Let's see if you can, yeah, you can see it has a little, brings out the color a little bit. But uh, just remember when you're working with it, just be careful in this area. Don't make it too thin right here, when you, especially when you're doing the pine. Um, but this is thin on the sides, a little thicker here. This part here, because the able to put like a ridge there because it was the round part on the bottom. But uh, don't hesitate to, uh, don't be a snob with wood. Use whatever you can use, you know. Um, and it works and it comes out and this will dry pretty well it's pretty strong now because it's dry but uh, it'll be fine man so gotta get some stuff off my hands right now normally if you have oil on your hands you can put it on another product that needs more uh, oil I'm not putting it on the cooks yet because I have to do more work on that a lot of dries work it more I don't know if I'll dig it out more it's a real dozen number on the tools. It's like rock hard. But uh, yeah, just a little, little carving tidbit, you know. And then this is like ultralight, you know. Of course, us outdoorsmen, bushcrafters, we don't get mountain man, we don't care about that. But uh, as you get old, you know. But uh, yeah, it's kind of lightweight. It's good. So that'll be fine. I'll put this down for even an hour to go over to be uh, soaked in. Maybe I'll put some more in there. We'll see. But uh, let's go get some fair run. Uh, I'm going to show you something. I'll be right back. <clears throat>
some stuff right here. These are all uh, white pine and some mulberry in here. And uh, nothing fancy on the mulberry, but uh, some are marked, some are not. Some of the things I've been working on. Um, the white pine I just made, I'll put it in here. That should be done. This is an apple fork. Very strong, very strong. But, uh, and, and basically on the fork, what I do is shape it out here with the X, draw a line here. And then with my gouge, quarter inch gouge, spin it around in here just by hand. And then I cut. And then you can just work it out in there. That's what I do. And I use like a Japanese saw to cut in there. I have two Japanese saws. But uh, yeah, these make nice, uh, nice little old style forks, you know. That's pretty strong. It's the apple. But these are things that I'm working on. Um, this is a mulberry fork, this one here. You can see the yellow color. But, uh, yeah, nothing fancy, but they work. Another one, another different spoon here. I'm trying to think of what else we got here. Got some mulberry, another mulberry here. It's not marked or anything, but uh, nothing fancy. They all don't come out the same, but, uh, Somewhat of a cowl. Well, yeah. That's some different styles there. These aren't marked yet. But that's kind of what I'm working on. These are a little, what I call trekking. Trekking white pine spoons. Throw them in there. I have to mark these up. Like so that's what's going on. So it's going to SMO Fair Rod. Um, peace freedom keep your eyes to the sky so yeah i just figured i'd uh work on this i got uh one two three more spoons i have to sand and finish i have some more outside i want to make i, I always want to make stuff you know but uh in between what i'm doing so all right so that's kind of what I'm working on now. So take care. Have a good day.